It's Mike McGuire backstage at the Big Valley Jamboree from Kissing Country 103.9. We are here with your next act, Alberta's own Corblund. <laughs> yeah, do that again. This time, cheer for him. Corblund! There it is. Nicely done. Big Valley Jamboree stage. We're back here chilling right now. Uh, you're quite the card player. Eh. Eh. Well, I, I thank you for agreeing to play cards with me. This is kind of a dream come true, playing cards with Corb Lund. I don't play crib. You should play crib. Crib's really? like the old man game. When you're old, you'll appreciate it. The only card game I really know how to play is Go Fish. Are you cool with that? I guess so. All right, cool. I'll deal out while we do this here. See, I don't even know how to deal the cards. Anyway, Corb, uh, it's been a, a whirlwind year for you. You're getting a lot of success, getting noticed uh, all across North America, and uh, it just continues going. I understand you've been playing a lot of shows in Texas lately. Yeah, we spend a lot of time down there. That's our best place in the States. They kind of get it now. They have a really good audience for... Uh, you know, scruffy country or whatever you want to call it. Stuff where guys write their own songs. It's good. Very cool. There's well, a whole other little subculture down there for it. It's good. Did you ever picture in a thousand years that Core Blonde would be on just before Keith Urban? Oh, I never really, never really thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it's cool. I'm really happy. When they when they uh, booked us, I didn't know we were going to get a, such a good slot. So it's awesome. It's very cool. Well, you're familiar with the Big Valley Jamboree. I mean, I see I it all the country events and. I see all around uh, Edmonton back home at CFR when it's on, and uh, yep. to, to go from being the guy that's kind of just always there for the party to, to being on that, <laughs> that main stage. Is that how I've been perceived? Well, <laughs> I'm just saying, I might have been at Molson Saloon last night, and I might have seen you hanging out, and that's funny. you might have got on, on stage with Corey Willis, and <laughs> Yeah, No, it's fun. I mean, um, it's it's good, because I mean, I'll probably say this on stage later, but it's, it, I think it's cool that we can have people support us and make a living writing songs about this part of the world, right? On to cool. the card game here, uh, I'll ask you straight out, do you have a, uh, any queens? Wow, you gave me two queens. I think you're only supposed to give me one, but I'll take both anyway. <laughs> well, well, you know, we're doing the, <laughs> at the CCMA weekend, we're playing, uh, earlier that weekend, we're nominated for an Americana Award in, t in Tennessee, too. That's like, uh, it's like the Amy Lou Harris, Steve Earle, Lyle of it World, the Americana yeah. music thing. Yeah. And so we're playing, we're, we're up for an award down there. As an emerging artist, which is funny, it's only taken 15 years. But. <laughs> and we're playing on the uh, show actually with Buddy Miller and Emmy Lou and Roseanne Cash and a bunch of those guys. And then coming back on a plane immediately to, on Sunday to get to the CCMAs in Edmonton. You're going to be a busy boy. Where I'll have home field advantage. <laughs> it's going to be very cool. <laughs> are you guys involved in that? You must be. We are, absolutely. Uh, we're there, and uh, we're hoping a lot of the folks watching this right now are going to be there. Ten? I think it's your turn to ask me. Uh, I don't have any tens. Go fish. I have no idea how he's doing, but uh, anyway, when we get to uh, the stage tonight, you're on there. When you first came into country music, people were going, Corb Lund, that's that guy that was in the rock band, and now he's a country guy. Now it's Corb Lund, that country guy that, that used to be in a rock band. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> There's one layer more to it, because I mean, I grew up pretty Western, so I, it was actually, people ask me how I went to country from playing rock music, but the more unusual thing was that I went, got into heavy rock music in the first place, because I, you know, grew up on horseback and stuff so but they're both I mean to me it's all just music it's fun I there, still like rock music it's fun there aren't many people I know that uh, show their love for their pro home province as much as you do so I'm guessing that when you get out there and you look out to that big field of people it's gonna feel pretty good yeah for sure it's it's interesting because when I started out I didn't know if the songs I wrote about this culture in our part of the world would, would anybody else anywhere else would give a shit or be into it but it turns out that people do like it even if they don't know the specifics of the area but we played the songs all over the world and and uh, it's it I guess my point is that it's fun but it's extra fun after having been everywhere else to come back here and sing the songs to people who know what I'm singing about right <laughs> it's good very cool we're looking forward to it tonight for folks that have never experienced Cora Blunt live get ready for that uh, do you have any jacks no jacks. No sure. jacks. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time you here. You should really learn to play crib. I, I'm going to go work on my cards. It's much more masculine. Maybe, though. <laughs> Ow. Not you. I nah. mean, we both have to play fish, right? Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. One last thing before you go. It is the Kissing Country oh. gift of uh, nice. Big Valley 2010. It's uh, it's like gold around these it parts. Is. These so. are selling these for thirty dollars a can out there. And the, thirty. Well, the kids were when you drive in. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I hear you thirty bucks. Thanks. Well, we're only charging twenty here, I All guess. Right. So at the merchandise stand. <laughs> Corblund, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for him. He is coming up next. <laughs> 